It's been a little while since I made an electronics video. I've been working on some new developments for Ag Open GPS. Any of you on the forums or on Telegram have noticed I've really been excited about power over Ethernet. Come up with some rudimentary pieces for that. Also, you can see over here we got a V2 box. Still works with some older versions of Ag Open GPS. Everybody is very excited for Panda. I want to show you that it can come into the future pretty easy here. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the GPS unit here. All I've got is a well, a, a PoE splitter, it's it's just like you'd use for a CCTV. I've got my spark fun. I just got it hooked to a, a generic uh, antenna. And then I've got back here three TTL to Ethernet uh, converter. And it allows a lot of interesting things to be done. But at any rate, we might as well get this one powered up. Just take the Ethernet cable and you plug it in. The switch tells it that it has power. And then we get a blinking light there, blinking lights there, and we now have a powered up GPS, just that simple. Right now I'm working on the ACE branch of Egg Open GPS that has absolutely nothing to do with USB. Uh, the reason being is USB does not network, and in order for a lot of the tricks that I want to pull off, it needs, it needs networking. All of the messages that all these boards and everything create go to one place, the network, the UDP network, and all these boards, if you have the time to program them up, are able to take messages or put messages on and glean the information they need to function. A GPS board and all it does is it's a GPS. So for the rest of time in memoriam, it'll be a GPS until I can find a better GPS or I wanna try a different GPS. And if I do, I just unplug the cable, plug in the new one, and then GGA and VTG travel down this cable to the switch where it's transmitted to all things connected. And then whatever needs it picks up the message and it uses the information it needs out of it. So here I have what uh, we've been calling the NAV and it's just got a BNO 085 a splitter again because all my stuff is PoE and the TNC and then it's also connected to this WAS. This allows it to be connected directly to frame of tractor. It doesn't even have to be inside the cab, saves you a little space. So it doesn't have to be in the cab, doesn't have to be in the cab. I'm reusing this because I'm running out of time and I really got to get this back on my tractor. Turning V2 into what would be called a steer module. So a steer module is just that. It just steers. That's it. That's the only trick it does. It steers. It handles maybe like the ACS 712 and, and that's it. This way, if we make a huge change to this board, we don't have to change that board. We don't have to change the, the uh, wiring for this or any of the ethernet wiring. We don't have to change this board. All we do is make a major revision to one board. So you're out like what, instead of like a bunch of bucks, you're out like, like 50 bucks or something. But also, since there's way less engineering going on, it's way easier to make one of these. It's way easier to make changes to one of these. And this is the part I love the best. This sends data to the UT UDP network and it sends it to AgIO on the computer. So does this, so does this. It uses what's called a PGN. And since they only relate to each other with a PGN message, if you completely pull this out of the system, and you replace it with completely different hardware, but as long as it knows how to translate the PGNs, boom, it works. That is the, the major benefit to this system. As we learn about new hardware, learn about new devices, have shortages, we'll be able to make very different looking hardware that is able to talk all on this system just because we're using networking and not the ancient USB system. I guess the next thing now is we've had this power off for a while. We might as well plug in the nav and get it all powered up. I'm just gonna take this cable here and I'll, this is kind of harder to do than I thought with one hand, but at any rate, click. Here we have the old V2 board. You can see in there, there is right there a uh, B&O but it can come out, don't need it anymore. Here is the ADS. Again, really don't need it there. Really, it's just the Nano, and it's gonna be connecting to the UDP network. 
And then we've got the ACS 712, it still works. You got the Cytron in the back, it still works. So all this is doing is steering, that's it. It's, you know, you already had it in your tractor, it worked. We just pop in that module right there, that module right there, and we're still able to reuse this, but we get all the brand new benefits. That's the idea behind this. It's all plugged in and you can see the switch there. Everything's blinking. That's blinking. That's blinking. No, that's not blinking, but it's having a blinking good time. The next thing we gotta do is open up Ag.io because everything wants to run already. Like we haven't even opened up the computer and we're good to go. But since there is no more USB and there's no like, oh, I wish I had USB to do whatever. Like it is gone. Goodbye. We, um, th this one branch, the only thing USB might be for is like initial flashes, but for actual function, there is no USB and this is great. Look at all the magical data going everywhere it needs to go. This version has PoE, which is kind of great because it just powers up all the daughter boards. This is for electric steer. All the equipment I really use is old enough that this, this is what I'm doing kind of deal. But the idea behind this too is if this doesn't cut it for you, instead of building this or building a, a, a steer board that would do the same as this, you'd plug in a module and it would talk CAN bus. And you'd only need to do that if you're doing CAN bus and you wouldn't have to worry about any of this junk. You'd just have the CAN bus module and then you'd go. Except it would talk to that module because it's tied by the data, the PGNs, and it would talk to that because it's tied by the data, the PGNs. Brian has really been running crazy with this. So we got the nav, it shows that it's on. We got steering, it's on. You can plug it in, plug it, unplug it, but I need two hands for that. Uh, we're listening to N-Trip already, but there's more. So if I go to this beautiful UDP monitor, and I open this up, here we got some PGNs, and we can open this guide and it'll tell us what it is. We got like 200, and 200, is a uh, hello sent to all. So that's trying to figure out who's there. Let's say like 121. So you look at 121, hello, I am you reply. If we click on the GGA, we can see the panda just roaring in. If we click on Ntrip, we can see Ntrip just roaring in. Also too, another benefit of this equipment right here. So this will run UDP and TCP at the same time. And why that's awesome is if you want to go and configure uCenter, all you got to do is go up here and then you pick your network connection and your port and then boom, you got uCenter. But you also still are doing Ag Open GPS at the same time you're doing uCenter. We got a red bar here, but we're, we're you know, we're subterranean at the moment. So yeah, you can, view you center, you can send stuff, send settings, you can reformat the whole nine yards once you have it set up all over TCP while doing UDP at the same time. Technology is awesome, networking is awesome. There has been no break in the ability for the TNC to create Panda because it is directly, not even looking at IO, Ag IO, it is going right from here right to there. What is the next thing we want to do here? The next thing we want to do is we want to light up the old V2 and get that motor right there to turn. We're gonna get the old wasp going here, nice and big. And if we take a look, hold the wasp reads, nice as can be. And we're not using an ADS, which is kind of nice. So if you take a look at this board, there is no ADS anywhere. I tried the op amp, it didn't work too hot for me. But at any rate, I've just got the one to three volt steering going directly to the TNC pin. Nothing's exploded so far. Way to go. So let's see what else is active on this. And if you take a look, ACS is active. Let's try to get this thing to turn. Ho, ho, ho. Magic! Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Have I tried this on a tractor? No. I had a similar version working last year. This is kind of improved, so I gotta turn this off because it's too noisy. But at any rate, V2 lives again. You're able to easily upgrade with this system. So this is showing older generation hardware, newer generation hardware, 
it all works together happy. There is a new uh, INO for this. Uh, again, dev level right at the moment. Uh, I wouldn't take this as it's uh, ready to go by any means, but this is where Ace is heading. So the Ace branch, it is going to marry the old hardware with new hardware, or you get the new hardware. And then if you have a hardware update, it's a true hardware update, but it still works with older pieces of equipment. This is very exciting to me. I go open GPS, regardless of what you're using. We've been trying to move, unless you got a specific use case in which you do it yourself. Uh, all modules will be set to dot five. And then that way, all you have to do is set up your ethernet adapter on your computer. And when you put the INOs in, your computer set to dot five, all of a sudden this should all just magically work. And that's another thing that is great about th this style of system. Once you plug into the switch, it should just be plug and play. It just turns on and it starts working. That is the, the, the real benefit. Using UDP as essential communications and then having these boards tied by data together because the hardware can change as long as the way they talk stays the same, we're good. It's kind of like Germany, right? Everybody in Germany speaks German and they've had people there forever. And guess what? All, all the people are new hardware but they still use the same language. They still, it doesn't matter if you're 90 or like, you know, four years old, you can talk German. Same thing with English, but we're talking AOJ UDP here. You have a new baby board, guess what? If it speaks the language or you teach it to speak the language, all of a sudden it just integrates into the system.